Next up here tonight, fresh new evidence that the looming trade war with China is starting to have an immediate impact here in Tampa Bay. This time it's affecting what you recycle. Sarah Hollenbeck tonight with the local communities that could be faced with a huge problem. Ever wonder what happens to that paper, plastic and glass you toss into the recycling bin? It magically disappears. 90% of the items we recycle here in Tampa Bay get shipped more than 7,000 miles away. To tell you the truth, I didn't know we sent our recycling to China. That is, up until a few months ago when China banned foreign recyclables because of contamination and as a way to get back at the U.S. for recent aluminum tariffs. China is kind of, I think, using this as potentially a trade pawn. Whatever the reason, it's creating a huge mess in communities across the globe. Not just here in, in Largo, not just here in Tampa Bay, but all across the United States. Recyclable materials are piling up with no place to go. City is now rushing to find new places to haul your recyclables. I know a lot of people are asking us, well, what are you going to do with recyclables? We don't know. And I'm just being honest. Cities used to get paid to bring the recyclables to sorting facilities like this. Now they're having to pay $50 a ton just to drop it off, forcing communities like Largo to increase your garbage fee come October. They're looking at a 20% rate hike or an extra $350 per month for families. That worries avid recyclers like Betty Ray. It's going to deter people from doing it as what's probably going to happen. We checked around and found out most cities have contracts, so your rate may not go up for a few years. But if you live in an unincorporated area and pay directly to a hauler, don't be surprised if your rate goes up. In Largo, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.